Hey, TB's guy here. Uh, just as a heads up, my editor, Ember Hart, have been feeling poorly for a while and struggling. And at this point, they've decided that they can't deliver good work as an editor, and they're going to step away from it. So, I'm going to be taking over the editing of Baldur's Gate myself, which will mean that episodes are going to come out faster, but the editing also isn't going to be nearly as nice because, well, I just don't have the time it takes to do that kind of nice editing on top of everything else that I'm doing. Emberheart have done a ton of good work for me. The Skyward Sword and Mass Effect 3 playthroughs especially benefited a lot from their influence, so I'm really sad to see them go, and I hope they get better soon. And uh, hey, just as a favor to me, if you've enjoyed their editing on my channel, put some nice words down below in the comments about it where they can see it, huh? Thanks. Hello, archdevils and antichrists. My name is TB Skyn, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where... Uh, truly, truly so many things have happened! In the last episode, my God, just just a whole bunch of a lot of things. To keep going, but we have finally managed to make it <laughs> to the goblin camp uh, that sits in front of the temple of Saluna, where the arch druid seems to have been taken captive. Oh, uh, uh, okay, so we can get down there, but we have to climb. Okay, you have to climb down here. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fine. And now we want to get in there, get them out, and oh, preferably without... Looks like a trap. You don't say. Me out. Well, that was a way to start an episode. Okay, uh, I did, that frazzled me a bit. Good grief. 50 gold and a glowing shield. Once per short rest, if you're below 50% hit points and take damage, you gain 8 temporary hit points. That's quite good. Never wanted the easy path. Don't mind if I do. Looks like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Is there just a chest in every single mound of dirt? I mean, I don't mind. This calls for careful footwork. What path lies before me? Yes, you can. You just have to. Oh my god, really? Okay, they're so drunk that they won't even wake up. Or maybe they will. Okay. Or maybe they won't. A stuffed bear. I'll take your gold. You can keep the bear, buddy. I'll let you have that one. That wall's barely holding together. Right. Oh, right, shit. I wanted to take a long rest. I completely forgot about that. Symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Okay, so she's stuck in this conversation. Right, but she wouldn't say, hush now, go back to sleep. And she wouldn't use the illithid power ever. She would kill them. I hate being a role player sometimes. There we go. I speak, they 
burn. Okay. Now we take a long rest. Oh, hello. I don't seem to be doing so hot. <laughs> the air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow, I guess. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Chukil gape vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Let's not use the illithid powers. <laughs> Surrender to Lazelle, you will not become an abomination. <laughs> We're just exhausted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. trust my own mind so it seems i must trust yours i will wait but know this i am watching if the sickness does not pass come dawn i will end us all Just in time, you are transforming. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes. You have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Get up on your own, I think, as my characters move. Independent. Good. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. Must I now? I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Oh, Space Skull. For the fate of Feyru. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. 
The enemy is closing in. I will be back. That was a hell of a night. Oh! I am going to find my potion. I'm not going to spend a spell slot on it, but... Hey, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Pet him, obviously. Okay, well, he's gonna be okay then. One hopes. Hey, uh... Hey, Asterion? Those are wine stains, right? That's wine? Those are stains of you've stained that that's wine stains, right? That's wine. I had the strangest dream last night. And there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. <laughs> I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. I don't trust it. We should avoid... Mm. That's a very binary. I would love to have a more equivocating answer. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? Light on my feet. Glick. I had a dream, as we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is geek deception. <laughs> You're right, we should ignore this dream figure at all costs. Like, that certainly would be where my character is. Like, I've just, I've just chatted with a devil. I've just nearly been mind-controlled by those three prophet figures. And now I have this dream of, like, a, someone going, Hey, you should accept and le let in the parasite's power. And it's like, hey, how about, how about maybe we don't do that right now? Wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. And you're a warlock, so you would know something about that. We should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. What do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the Devil. So the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? 
Uh huh. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. Don't worry. I have no interest in a devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me. She? Protecting me. And that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. Uh, you don't believe this was a real person talking? I, actually, let me tell him I had the same dream. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of a lithid parasite, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? No. <laughs> like, no. Of course not. It was a dream, nothing more. Well, I'm not sure. Such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. Might it indeed. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. If I am to replace anyone in the party... To take the yeah I question the wisdom of that decision but so be it I'll be here in the meantime idling away the hours because I do want to get uh, some warlocking on well met. that's the spirit let's get you leveled <sighs> Okay, let's see. Spells. You need to have Hex. Now we can talk about... I think Agonizing Blast is probably kind of important here. Uh, Repelling Blast could be really good. Because that the game is vertical enough, and has been vertical enough so far, that I think that'll probably give us a chance or two to, like knock someone off a ledge. I think Misty Step is probably just too useful, though. There we go. Pact of the Chain gets me a familiar. Pact of the Tome gives me the book. And then there is Pact of the Blade, and that's the one we're going for. Because that really seems to be the one that he's built for. Now, are you trained with shields, Will? Defender of the people. I feel like maybe you're not. Oh, yes, you are. Excellent, cuz. Where am I needed? We can put a shield in your hands, which would probably be good for your AC. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Happened to you as well. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. Hmm. Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. 
It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Hmm. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Hmm. How can you manage living with such a thing? Or rather, is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Hmm. So you knew more than you were letting on before? I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Hmm. That artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Curious that you just happen to have an item that can protect us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. Oh, look, a That's bot. That's all I need to know. Got rid of that. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Hmm. Admirable conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. Oh, let the matter drop, I guess. Uh, hmm. I want to talk to you about your Shar worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. <laughs> you should trust me. We're in the same boat after all. Well, actually, I think being that my character is a drow and a bit of a deceiver, I probably I think they probably don't have that much of an objection to Shar. Yeah, no, we're not going to use spells on our companion. That That would be a little too much. Plus, no need to. I have no compunction with using spells on NPCs, Very well. but not friends. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. Hmm. Remind me. My lady Shah is the night singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. 
We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. Indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds daunting. I don't think it's for me. Give it time. And thought. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust. The so-called gods they worship. The lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations. Fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Mm. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. Hmm. So, I, mm, I don't remember my D&D &D lore that well. But, like, Shar is the twin goddess of the moon goddess Selun, whose temple we're about to go to right now, actually. And she's like, it's basically sort of a yin-yang thing of, like, the good twin, the evil twin. And Shar is like, the evil twin is, like, manipulative and cruel. I think there was a thing where Shar at one point made her own mystical weave. Right, like, where you have Mistra's weave, which is where almost everyone draws their magic from. It's all of the wizards certainly do, like, not the clerics. And then Shar made her own weave for, like, her own worshippers, and it's like, well, it's like the shadow weave, and I think she's connected to the shadow fell, which is like an alternate plane of just real bad, dark, evil shit. <laughs> um, so, oh. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Well, Tell me something about yourself, besides Char, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Yeah. Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass some. It's a deal. Anything else you care to share? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Hmm. All right. I like her. Like, it's, again, as we've talked about, it's cool when some characters aren't, like, just uncomplicated good guys. I like that. Sorry, I wanted to leave you with your stuffed bear, so I guess you can keep it, but... Man, you guys weren't even supposed to die. I was trying so hard not to have that happen. Only a strong hit that deals at least 10 damage can... Da oh, but... I can't deal 10 damage with this hammer. Oh my god, okay. Well, fine. Going. I don't have anything else that does force damage, do I? Oh, it's Eldritch Blast Force. The pride of the gate. Not proficient with equipped boots? What boots are you wearing? Oh, are these medium armor? They're medium armor. I see. Son of a bitch. Okay. Not proficient with equipped boots. Oh my god. Thank god it's a cantrip. I've got a long road ahead. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, 
Okay, so here we can sneak around above things. The Goblin Priestess is there. So Luna, as if Maybe this is not the place! Shadowheart! Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Maybe this is not the place! Not your usual haunt, I take it? Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Yeah, well, if I had another cleric, I'd take them, but, you know. What do we have here? None of you are worthy. Such a disappointment. How do we get closer to her? Do what us true souls command. Give me a sword. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead and heroic. Get down there and stop complaining. Ah! Uh, yeah, probably couldn't have saved him if he never had tried. It's worth money. Who's seeing me here? Oh, that one. A scrying eye. Well, that's inconvenient. Drorragslin. Okay. So, okay. Lazale, on group, please. Um, no, stay. But just ungroup everyone, please. Okay, I need my ranged attackers. Oh, she's level six. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, acid, great. How do you have that many actions? Yeah, I think I'm a little screwed here. I, th I think I'm screwed. I don't think I can possibly win that. Because, like, that goblin went through the door and just activated all of the other goblins. So I think that was kind of we were dead at that point. Don't get too comfortable, you horrible sacks and muck. At least give me a sword. You might need us any time. We want you be comfortable since we're done here. I miss the swamp. Proper nice that swamp was. Please keep sneaking, thank you. Oh, a faithful of Magubliath, the old god of the goblins. Hmm. Right. If I jump over there, can I still get back? More to the point, can I get up there? Ah, 
elven agility. God, I love that you can jump in this game. So right now I'm just having... Ooh, hang on. I'm just having them... Scout. To look around. Okay. Something over there. What do we have here? I'm way too big. Yeah. Ah, oh, if only I had enlarge reduce. I might be able to do something with that burrow hole. See, because that's a lot of explosives down here. I can't help but wonder what might be what would what might happen if I found some way to detonate them. Which I have. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Hey, blasted open the door. <laughs> she doesn't seem bothered by it at all. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't care. Oh, there we go. Now someone's investigating. You're a traitor. Huh. What's that damaged vase over there? I can't make it there, but I can. Like, would that draw someone in there? Hmm. I was kind of hoping that it would, like, collapse a wall or bring down part of the temple or something cool, but... I guess not. There is 263 gold down there, though. It's just the problem is if I go down, I can't get back up. Light on my feet. Okay. Okay, I guess I, guess I just blasted that thing down and nothing happened. Oh, no, no, you can't tell me. I can't get back? Really? Wait. Wait. No, path is interrupted. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, it's not like I found anything important while I was in here, but... That really seemed like I should be able to get back there. Damn it! Very annoying. Okay. I mean, my character does have very lowest athletics, right? Yeah, it's like someone with more strength could probably do it. But okay, there's nothing... I was hoping that this would get me a lead on, like, finding where the Nightingale artifact was, but... I just found a room full of explosives. <laughs> so instead of trying to attack the Scrying Orb, I want to trigger it to move away, and then I can jump over here, climb up there, and proceed down this way. So the scrying eye. Best not do anything suspicious while it's watching. So it's just that my poor character here has such low strength. strength same thing with Same thing with you, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, let's ungroup. My faith protects me. Light steps. I'll just take you over here. Like I'm, I'm. Mm. Ready. Unseen. I see a way. Keeping my head down. That's Zurga? Yeah, that's Zurga. Right, okay. So I have some ways to increase my jumping ability. For example, I have an elixir of hill giant strength, which should do it. And then you can cast Jump on him. Oh, you have to be all close to do- oh my god, okay. There we go. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not gonna have that jump buff forever though. Some very nice arrows that I can't really fire with my bard. And then from here, we might actually just be able to kind of sneaky-beaky our way behind him. <sighs> and hopefully, with a little luck, I don't know this for sure, we'll be able to just, like, teleport to a waypoint to get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, my God. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll meld into you. What a fear in my heart. Oh, that's a lot of treasure. God, keep me out. Oh, come on! At least I have plenty of thieves tools. It is DC 20, and I have plenty of Thief's tools, so we can just keep going at it, but... Oh, this could take a second. You can't be serious! There we go. Fuck off. No one in here, right? Spring step boots. They gain momentum. Gloves of the growling underdog. Advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. That is good. Amulet of Salunus Chosen. What's this? An ally you touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. Okay, yeah. All mine, thank you! But didn't get me the Nightingale. I was hoping the Nightingale would be in here! The Nightingale thing, the artifact. What was it? The Night Song. One of the adventurers, the dwarf Brian, has a map leading to the Night Song, but he was killed by the goblins at the temple. Okay, so I would want to find Brian's corpse then.
Let's see. What's the combat group here? Oh, there's a dead Mind Flayer on the floor, is there? So there's a Warlock. There's a Booyog. Warrior. A Devout. Would be a Cleric, probably. And then you, a level 5. I mean, if we could set up for a good ambush, we might be able to take them, but... Don't know that I would have much fun with it. Oh. Okay. It's like I haven't been spotting any dead damn dwarves. While I've been in here. Am I gonna have to try and talk my way in? Is that what this is? Ultimately... Forcing me towards? Because the wooden cage was just a goblin. Like, it was a goblin, someone who was faithful to the old goblin god. There was a fairly powerful enemy over there that I don't want to deal with. Now, with 21 strength... You can jump quite far. And with high ground advantage, apparently you can jump even further. Okay! Now everyone's jumping! What's next? Shadow Heart, please keep Keep sneaking. Breathe deep and move. It really does annoy me that I can't jump through that gap somehow. Like, come on. Surely. But all right. Here we go. Okay. Now... Laser, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Not exactly. <laughs> Hmm. Can we find the dead dwarf then? Volo! The true souls are coming, the loudness awake! Uh, Volo, for God's sake. Noing. <laughs> well, I got all their gold, so that's something. No sign of the dead dwarf either. Oh my god, okay. Oh, potions. Oh, I'll take those. Just wanted to find the damn dwarf corpse, but okay. I'm gonna have to go in through the front door, I guess. Because I have to get Volo out of there. Oh, that poor idiot. Oh, that dumbass. I mean, given that I'm a drow, Best be on my way. I'm reasonably convinced I can just kind of walk in. And persuasion check my way to not getting immediately eviscerated, but... All oh, right, I probably can't get back up there, can I? Nope. Even with 21 strength, can't make it back up there. 
Okay, well, there's a way to deal with that. There's a very easy way to deal with that, which is to do this. Well, I mean, it, it was worth the trouble. We stole all of their shit. <laughs> which reminds me, I need to sort this goddamn inventory out a little bit more, because you're carrying a whole bunch of weapons that you don't need to be carrying. And hopefully, we'll find someone to pawn these off to soon. I wonder if the game accounts for the fact that I've just robbed them. Like, I wonder if there is a thing of like, Oh my god, we've been robbed! And you can come in like, what? Oh my god, really? Oh no! <laughs> How awful! I, I'm, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Next time, we will be on guard they're not even going to try and stop me. Okay, so I didn't just sneak at all. I just kind of had this assumption that... They'd be hostile on sight. But I guess not. Useful. Hey, did you guys kill a dwarf recently? I would like to know. Something's on my mind. What? I'm looking for someone named Halson. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Down in the pits? Either Halson's in a foul mood, or he awaits a gallant rescue. Likely both. That noise coming from behind you, good or bad? <laughs> Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. A raid on what? Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Joaquin's Lads rest. even captured some duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Aha. Uh -huh. Stop fishing. I wonder if this is just because I'm a drow. Like, I wonder if it's just that I'm a drow and then they're sort of like... I hardly believe in love at all. Uh -oh. But I do believe in carnal pleasure. Ayo! Hey Are you flirting with the Githyanki there, Will? First of all, nice. Cool. That rules. Good boy. But also, you know... Risky yeah. business. Oh, hang on. There's blood on the ground. And a guy pissing. Okay. Well. Boy! No truck didn't keep free! It Sounds like they captured the themselves a bard. Hey, buddy! Give me your money. Welcome your greatness. I've got some good stuff if you're looking to buy. Quite the trove. How did you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Hey, I mean, raid spoils your majestically. Let me see what you have. Jump distance is increased by 1.5 meters. That would have been nice to have a while ago. When the wearer heals a target, it gains an additional three temporary hit points. That's also quite good. Reckon it can fly. See, when you heal a creature, gain a 1d4 plus 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for two turns. That's all very good for Doomhammer. Fills the strike, prevents it from gaining hit points, and undead get disadvantage on attack rolls. Ooh. Let's give that to our cleric for the healing. And then having that for bludgeoning. Yeah, I'm about to pay them with the money I stole from their treasury. Exactly. <laughs> Which I have no problem with. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this goes to you. So every time she heals now, I should probably give her healing word for that, too. Uh, she heals for plus three temporary hit points, and she gains a bonus to attack raids. Goblin 
or attack uh, rolls, which is good. Okay. Now, Volo, 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 be quiet, Volo. Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So, raise it your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul. Had let you go out. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge. The way this one's carrying on. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention? I don't think so. <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> Bard performance. Continue rhyming. For soul has not been truer than the Ragslin named Drawer. I'm a bard. I cannot help myself. <laughs> and if you saw him kill manlings, you'd have to yell, Hum! Fa! <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep going with this. I heard Raxlin cast shadows that are 20 leagues wide. Mm. Why? Uh, he's a meatier creature than any I've spied. Oh, Boulder Dash. Oi, stranger. You make him with my pigeon. He's talking stupid now. Just playing along. Let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am I'm not gonna get a kill, am I? Um, um, come choose, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pay. We come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'll save him. I'll get him out of there. My name's Gribbo, idiot. I'll save him. Uh, I'll... Yes. Not fool me. I'll save him. I'll get him out of there. <sighs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sad stick. Well, I, I don't fancy chasing this thing. It looks right peeved. Is it even a bird? It's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? Let's just bloody play. Hey, kiddo. Well, now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? I can handle myself just fine. No doubt, mate. But this ain't dragons or demons or anything else you might have faced. This. This. Is chicken chasing. For starters, that's no chicken, that's an owl bear. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? <sighs> what is chicken chasing exactly? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. <sighs> this is cruel. I won't be part of it. No skin off my ass. Just remember, you had the chance to be a part of something grand, and you walked away. I wouldn't mind rescuing the owlbear cub from these people. Mother gone. Hungry. 
I have a camp. You're welcome there. New home, maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. Well, now we have to win the game, don't we? I should speak up. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's a big one, but that's just. I'm leaving, chasing. and the owl bear's coming with me. Is you now? Reckon I feel differently. Reckon the lads will too. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. <sighs> it's very tempting to use the illithid powers, but I did build a character who specifically is good at talking. And also, I have a spell that gives me advantage. So the owl there is coming with me. Hmm. Bugger did eat our last chicken. Right, go on then. Fat bird's yours. Don't need the asshole. There we go. Oh, creature. I hope you can follow my scent to camp. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if we can take that baby and give it to the m mother owl bear that we met earlier. Hey, hey! You ain't rounding me up for no way. No way. I'm drinking. Okay. Good for you. Bottoms up. Yeah, is to the absolute. I just want to know where. Okay, where did they take Volo? I should maybe have paid attention to that. Well, got a waypoint. Statue of Saluna. This room must have been dedicated to her. And now it's a nest for some filthy goblins. A fitting in. <laughs> Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Excuse me. If you have a dryer inside, planning and such. Right. I mean, I'm not going to get any hiding here, am I? Maybe here? Any attention right now? Nope. Hmm. Wait, can I pick him up? You were seen moving a corpse. It seems the punishment. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what? Okay, that's a little, that's a little much. Why are they so, why are they so hung up on someone moving a corpse? Really? They eat corpses. That was a little extreme. Well, now I have to get the all bear back again. I did not anticipate that that would be <laughs> a fucking fatal crime. Let's hope we find him in one piece. But see, that's the first corpse of an adventurer I've seen. And what do you mean, try a little more cunning? Could have killed him. Easy. Ah, he didn't even have anything. All right. What now? That works though. On my way. Ah. <laughs> That rules. Oh, hey, I got some coins for that performance. Okay, so we have some goblin kids here. 
Let's try that again. It worked last time. My faith will guide me. Okay, let me just save scum this a little bit because I'm not sure if. I get off! I killed him. He's mine. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I mean, she doesn't have any. Let's go with detect thoughts then. Not that it's a difficult role, but there we go. This meat bag might have nothing but a few paper scraps, but I ain't gonna let no one get them. If one comes bragging about what she's found, at least I got something to show her. Okay. You're wasting your time with this one. There are corpses outside with far more loot. There is? I've got a long road ahead. You can plink plunk great on dwarf ribs. Try it. <laughs> ah, well, not quite what I was hoping for. Neat. Well, that was the most promising lead so far. I'm shooting arrows at this dwarf. It's great. Then this other guy twirls his fingers and some light in his voice just now. A disgusting waste of stonecraft. No go inside. Inside boring. Indeed it is. Hello, I haven't been here before. Could someone show me around? Hi, how are you? Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business. Now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Fort Drow. I've got an audience with the one in charge. You one of those moonrise types, then? Your kind usually don't deal with Boss Ragslin and Priestess Gar. Guessing you're after Mimfara. Could be her blood by the looks of you. I've got an audience with Mimfara? <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one, I hear. Bloody racket. Indeed. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. <laughs> yeah. Now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, We'll know who sent them. I might be will pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> and probably she's not gonna know where the war where the arch druid is. Since we have the run of the place, we can just explore for ourselves. Boy, that's a lot of blood. Oh, it smells like burnt flesh in here. Okay, so that's the high priestess who might be able to help us cure the illithid except given what we know about the absolute and what they've all got going on uh, got myself my doubts poor lad I could give you peace you know but no you gotta keep silent don't you where do they flee to you stubborn rat Please, stop! Oh, a drow. I, I, I didn't see you there. Please, uh, if you want to have a try. I don't try. I get results. Move aside. No. Uh, why are you torturing him? The git snuck in here with his mates, looking for some forgotten thing. Said they ran to some kind of grove. He doesn't want to tell us where it is, but he can't resist forever. Of course, now that you're here, we'll gladly let you take over. Okay, I don't want to torture the guy, I just want to talk to him. I don't try, I get results, move aside. Oh, oh, of course, there's weapons in the fire if you want them. Uh, uh, 
We'll leave you to it. Come, Grush. Let's go. I don't think I've got the stomach for this. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Beating it good. What? The prisoner? Okay. Sorry about that, buddy. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. I came from the night song. Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. Ah. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I, I don't want to die. Eh, don't worry. One more question. What happened to the druid? Helsin. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. Hmm. Okay, not that helpful. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Relax, I'm not going to leave you here. Th thank you. Thank you so much. Sleight of hand. Guidance, please. It's not the toughest lock in the world, but I want to make it. There we go. Okay. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I... I better go before they catch us. There's a broken passage Should upstairs. Be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What does the night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroque and would reward us if we found it. That's all. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. They are warned, but yes, go. Try not to get caught on your way out, would you? Oh, good kid. Smart. Okay, so hang on. Rats. What's she doing? Rats' it's nose twitches impatiently. Her teeth bite air as though it is flesh, but it doesn't sate her hunger. Hmm. Okay, they don't want to talk. Hey, you. Weird man. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah! ah! That explains the marks. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I'm only passing through. Your tastes must turn to the exotic if you would stop here by choice. <laughs> I was invited to discuss pain and its intricacies, but even I find these goblins crude and, well, primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing, wouldn't you agree? Hmm. I thought a follower of Lovieta would approve of pain. You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh -uh. First hand. Let's not do that. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Shadow heart. Touch me and you'll lose your hand. Is that a promise? Yes. <sighs> a pity, though. You would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. Ah, here's Volo. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Hmm. I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, he looks weak. Sick, even. He won't last long in there. Oh my god. I should be able to... I'll clinch past it with my bonuses, but come on. <laughs> Oh, the dice sometimes. Take him for a jog, why don't you? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. The gods may hate me, but my skill bonuses love me. All round you. Use them. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Remember my name when you're crediting the story's author. It's Tarja. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? A fine mess you landed yourself in. How did you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'll be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. I just looked the guy up, and if you go along with his suggestion, you get a permanent buff. What kind of a buff? Let's see. So, slip the yoke? How do you intend to do that exactly? An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Hmm, okay. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to skip that. Uh, when below 30% health, you get plus two to attacks and saving. That's cool. I mean, it does, like, my, th this character wouldn't, you know, like, they just wouldn't go along with that. Not as I've conceived of them anyway. I want to leave something for the next five or ten playthroughs. <laughs> Where I'll probably be playing on story mode. Or maybe not. I kind of like the combat. Foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. Yeah. 
I mean, I would have expected them to have raided the sarcophagi before I got there. Hmm. Okay, the warg pens. This calls for careful footwork. I guess Volo is a companion now? Like, he went to my camp. So, warg pits. I mean, our druid might have turned himself into a warg to get away. Oh, there it is. There's the bear. Throw someone in the brig. It'll be fun, I promise. At the ready. Okay, so that's where the arch druid has hidden himself. What's up for discussion? See, it squealed. <laughs> it's it again. Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> Stop them. Free me. Make it squeal again. What the hell's you doing? We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. I don't want to use the illithid. I don't want to do it. How about a taste of your own medicine? Time for blood. It's a sub area. So it shouldn't activate. Oh, we're killing children now? Oh, good. Okay. And then the wargs are in here, but they shouldn't be able to get out. Not, not, not super enthusiastic about killing baby goblins, but... Uh, but, okay. <laughs> oh, oh wait, no, no, they have to die. They have to die. Sorry. Sorry, kiddo, uh, you have got to go. The goblin kids really do have to die, though. <laughs> like that! That works. Get out of the grease. That's the most important thing right now. Oh, oh no. Darn it. Okay. I should have known he would do something like that. Probably should have known. Try 
something else. Oh, oh god damn it, right, you have to reapply it with He ran into the fucking cloud of daggers. Oh my god! My dude! That mm, that was technically my own fault, but also just very annoying. Can I? That works. There, give him some temporary hit points. Moving. Need to find a way forward. What should I do? Ah, oh my God. Again with the but you had line of sight to do the reapply hex, but you don't have the line of sight to do the Eldritch Blast because, um, It's right next to a torch I don't understand. Well cast a cantrip then. That's a little annoying. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I know. And see. Your Halson? The Master Halson of Emil? I mean, yes, obviously. Is glad I could be of help. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Nope. Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Yeah, I escaped from an Illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. 
They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. This magic isn't typical of how mind flayers procreate? No, this is different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. Yeah, tell me you've, what you've learned about the tadpoles' origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Mm. You seem to know mm, altered parasites? A cure at Moonrise Towers, maybe? Sounds like guesswork at best. I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Look around you, there's no order anymore. Only chaos. Chaos is welcome in doses. It helps keep balance. But this is too much. This is... unnatural. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drow in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. <laughs> you are aware you're asking me to kill a drop. Well, no, my character wouldn't actually care that much about that. Having a shape-shifting bear druid at my side might make things easier. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. S stay, stay here, just, just for the. M we'll, we might come back for you, but. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Well, I might be able to convince the leaders to come with me alone or something. Line breaker boots. Once per turn, when you dash, gain wrath for two turns. Plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. Uh, nice to have. Not gonna say no. Ta da! Bunch of heavy stones and a dead elf inside this mysterious hole. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Yeah. Inspect the body. Give me guidance. Not that I think I'll need it, but you know, just in case. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. Pull the body free, let's try. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Well, first, though, I want to draw any attention. I have an amulet of speak with dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. 
Why is there a heart on one of your shoes? My son Garland did it. If I ever missed him, could look down and remember him. Who are you? Hmm. Were you the only prisoner here? Gorbans took my friends. Cut them Oops, up little glitch. For the walks for me. How did you end up here? Oh, who are you, I should say? Taglin, carpenter, father of two. How'd you end up here? Heading to Baldur's Gate. Didn't hear Goblin Patrol. How'd you get trapped in the tunnel? Digging too quickly. Felt tunnel collapsing. Kept going. Better dead than warg meat. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, that's something. Poor guy. Set the true soul on fire. They're drow. They're stuck-ups. Ignore them. And be happy they didn't throw you to the spiders yet. Right. So we need to kill that level six person over there who's a paladin. Oh no. And now you dare to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. Honest, I didn't. Life, much like your words, is meaningless wealth. End the latter to save the former. Okay, can we talk you into like going over to the side of a chasm and falling in so I can push you? Hi, how you doing? Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. Ah. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? I'm on a hunt too. You're my prey. Let's not do that. A hunt? Who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You feel Shadow Heart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. The cultists cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Hmm, maybe shouldn't have brought her in here. Whimpering in our dungeon, try to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. Yeah, he she talked to me. the grove you visited. 
Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Perhaps you can misdirect her or kill her. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. I think I will misdirect you. We don't need the prisoner. I already know the place you're looking for. You are sure? And how did you find it? Nothing. The Absolute guided me. Praise be. And now, through her will, you can be my eyes. Her mind enters yours. A splinter of ice piercing your memories. Tiefling faces flicker into view as she attempts to learn the grove's location. Obscure memories of the grove with half-remembered places. Guidance, please! Oh boy. This is gonna be a tough one. Oh! Just barely! <laughs> Woo! I see only fragments. Your mind is confused. Do what you must to clear it. True souls are infected like us. Okay. Why do they think they're talking to a god? The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something Prizes back. For guessing what this it's not our concern. There are our prey is these. elsewhere. The artifact. I trust you have cleared your mind. I hunger for battle. We must find the sanctuary. The prisoner gave up his secrets. Tell me what you know. The Absolute will reward us with such power if we find this place. Place your finger on a patch of forest far from the grove. See, this I am better at. Not gonna try spells on her, though, since the difficulty class is five. Fool! You have fallen for his lies. We know that area well. There is nothing hidden there. We will have to do this the hard way. Scour the area and hunt them down, then report back to me. Can I not keep Lady, come with me have? so I can take I you to the you bear. Have found the sanctuary. I hunger for battle. How did a drow come to be commanding a tribe of goblins? They are flocking to the absolute. In sufficient numbers, they are an effective force. Expendable and willing. <laughs> Bad news, the prisoner escaped. These creatures have failed me again. I will deal with those responsible later. Did he tell you where his friends are hiding before he fled? He told me everything? Tell me what you know. The Absolute will reward us with such power if we find this place. Well, this doesn't seem to be taking me anywhere. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Fool! We will have to do this. I just, can I not get you to fucking... I mean, we can set up for an ambush. Like, to just kill the shit out of her. Breathe quiet. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. Because the thing is, like, we These need to pariahs, kill her, like, to fast. I have to get Lazale into close combat to with her. Me once. And now you dare. You to block her on the other side. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. And yet, I'm not convinced that I can win this, but let's see. Okay. Get you over here. Good. Because my concern was, if that guy was allowed to stay over there, that he would run and collect the... Oh, shit. There's still Scrut the Goblin boss. Prisoners lost a lot of blood, Jirling. Start with the fingers. Because then I'll use Eldritch Blast to throw that guy in the chasm. Lazale will start dueling her with support from Tarja. 
and Shadow Heart. It's like a level six and two level three is whew, whew, all right. Now they're all over here. Fuck it, let's roll. You were seen killing someone. As tempting as it is, the guard will not accept a bribe. Is that I'll talk, you lady chef. Spike always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. Oh shit, they're not in the fight. No, they don't care. Nothing. The prisoner can right. keep his tongue. Spikes, I'll be moving. If I can land that. <laughs> the village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something back. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Very well. Okay, I probably shouldn't be seen by her attacking that thing. Okay, we're in a stay in turn-based mode for a second here. It's calling reinforcements. But who knows what that means. We got a level up though, so that's... That's a big advantage. That is helpful. New cantrip, huh? Okay. I think I'm gonna go ability improvement for my main character as well, because, again, also... Better armor class and... And attack rolls, and then also better spell save DC. I should like that. Okay, we have evened the odds here a lot. Now... I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Now the fun begins. I have a lot on my mind. Right, it's a con save. Right. So the odds of that hitting are... Bingo. Be nice if they had just had a spell against which she couldn't save. Violence hasn't gone on. Yeah, I know. I did get Phantasmal Force on her, though, so that's nice. That's not concentrate. Yes, it is. And so is Heat Metal, so let's let that go. I could try and land Arsonist's Oil on her, but I don't really have any fire attacks to follow that up with, so... How does she have a saving throw? Oh, because it's a spell attack. Which is annoying. But she doesn't have a saving throw against. What do I want to hex her for ability checks? Probably strength, really. Bleed, baby! Bleed. Darn it. Ah! 
Hold person. Soul branding. What is soul branding, precious? Creature's movement speed is increased and deals additional fire damage. This condition ends upon... Okay. So he seems to be running away, and I think he might be going to get help. I would like him not to do that. I really want to kill her quick, though. 50% chance of hitting. Upcast at level 2. Fuck it, Lee Ball. That's 17 damage. That's something. There we go. Let's just make sure you don't get an easy time getting away. Okay, lots of preparation. And you can take down an enemy that's substantially more powerful than you. What's he doing? You two could level up soon too. That would be nice. Push my luck again. What's hiding here? Oh, we're still in turn order because those guys are coming. Okay. So long as it's not the whole damn fortress coming for me. So long as it's just these ding dongs. Damn it. This is my time. It's you down. There we go. Whew. Hey, and you guys leveled up too. Okay, that's one mini boss. And ability improvement for you as well. And for you, we'll pick wisdom, obviously. And strength. Strength constitution. That is a substantial power boost to all my characters to finally get their primary stats up. Alchemy pouch, camp supply sack, dagger, mace, cyanide? <laughs> uh, really? Okay. She didn't even get to attack, really. She, she cast hold person and that was about it for her. Mind flare specimen parasite. Pi parasite specimen, rather. Oh, I think... Oh, she could have... This was a party member! I think if you'd been evil... You could probably have had her as a party member. 
Because otherwise, why would she have... Well. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. I'm not sure about this. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Are we convinced yet? I'm saying no for now. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. Well, easier doesn't mean better, you know. Let's see. Elegant pen strokes trace out a map of the local area. The goblin's den is indelibly marked in greenish ink. The word Kionthar waves across the bottom where the largest river flowed. Three additional locations are annotated. Caravan goblins is scrawled in the northwest of the camp. Tollhouse Knolls marks the far north territory. Forest supplies hovers over an arrow pointing to the forest just to the camp's east. Beneath in small letters, between the laurel. willing to speak but not to its killer huh okay <laughs> she's like yeah no you killed me so fuck you actually same thing with you the corpse from silent yeah ah everyone's hostile now I see shit we should go get the druid then Oh, okay. My faith will protect me. Take you. But too much to bear. There was an arrow of thunder. It threw me off and I fell into the chasm. Was that the other room just exploding? Tarja, I would love it if you didn't critically miss. Victor's path. Concentrate. Oh, would you have to keep going? That little shit. No one stopped me yet. Never that little motherfucker. Me. That little son of a bitch. <laughs> I have to go take a long rest now. I'm, I'm mad about that. I am really annoyed. I'm really annoyed by that. But this episode has been going for three and a half hours, which is a little longer than I actually want them to go. So, if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Baldur's Gate and watching me get owned by a level two motherfucking goblin with a knockback arrow... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons down below. If you want to watch more Baldur's Gate 3, well, more is coming up on Twitch right now. And if you want to watch more on YouTube, well, some more episodes might be available in early access if you are a member. You can also subscribe on Twitch to get access to the VODs if you want to, but you don't have to. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history and the roles of this game wash gently over us all. <laughs>